Hi, this is Andy Bryce of Oryx Digital, and I'm going to take you through some of the many improvements we've made in Perfect Table Plan version 7. Version 7 has a new set of high resolution icons and a more modern look. It also has better support for high resolution displays such as 4K monitors and Mac Retina displays. You can change the icon and button sizes in preferences. If you want to increase or reduce the user interface size, try changing the user interface scaling in the preferences. Note that you'll have to restart Perfect Table Plan for this to take effect. You can now associate an image with each guest. Typically this will be a head and shoulders thumbnail, but it could also be an icon representing their military or masonic rank. Drag an image file directly from your operating system. If it's larger than 128 pixels, it will be scaled to fit. You can also drag directly from some web browsers. The default image is based on the guest gender and age. These icons are displayed in the guest pane, the groups pane, and can optionally be displayed in the floor plan pane, as square or circular images, similarly in the table plan pane, in the schematic, and you can also add them to the stationary. So here we have a guest image that's circular. And here we can see it on the place cards. If you have a card per group, then it will show all images for the guests in the group. Importing of guest lists has been much improved. You are now warned of any unmapped columns. Any conflicts or issues are shown in red. They're no longer shown in an annoying pop-up window. For example, here we have two guests with the name John Smith. Duplicates are also shown with a red flag. You can now also uncheck any guests that you don't want to import. You can also set the encoding of any text files that you import, for example CSV files. Automatic will be the right choice in the vast majority of cases. There's a new near but not next to proximity. It's represented by a yin yang symbol. This tells Perfect Table Plan to put these two people on the same table but not next to each other. This is often used for married couples. If we hold down the yin yang symbol here, we can see these couples with near but not next to proximities are shown with dark purple lines. We can now also set the default proximities for couples, families and groups. So for example, we could set couples to default to near but not next to proximity. There's a new dashboard pane. This allows you to see key metrics at a glance. You can choose which metrics to show and it updates in real time. Let's unassign some guests. And you can see that the dashboard pane is updated instantly. We can set the chart type to donut or pie chart. We can choose how the legend shown. And we can choose how many charts to display across the pane. Click the colours button to change colours for gender or for custom fields. Click the terms button to change words used inside the pane. You can copy these charts to the dashboard. You can also export them in a range of formats. In the advanced and professional editions, you can display custom fields of type selection or yes, no in the dashboard pane. Perfect Table Plan is now smarter about the bounding box around tables and rows of seats. This makes it easier to select the right item when you have a curved row of seats or a serpentine or E-shaped table. 
You can now set transparent as a color. For example, let's set these rows of seats to have a transparent outline and background. So we'll set the background to a solid color and we'll set the alpha channel to zero, which will make it transparent. And similarly for the edge of the row of seats. Now all the seats have transparent backgrounds. If we want to select the seats, we can drag a rubber box. Integration with Excel is much improved. You can now import from and export to Excel on Windows and Mac, even if you don't have Excel installed. For example, let's export all the guest data straight to Excel and we'll display the spreadsheet afterwards. The following fields have been added for each guest. Work phone, home phone, mobile phone, and email. These are in addition to the contact details shared with the rest of the group. You can use these guest contact details in the stationary pane. Let's add the guest mobile number to the stationary. You can import and export these guest contact fields. Use the new alignment tools to align items in the floor plan horizontally and vertically. Set a username to be used in note stamps. This is particularly useful when you have multiple people working on a plan. In the Preferences pane, you can now choose the folder for automatic backups. The VDU chart pane now has an optional contrast color. This makes it easier for your eye to follow along a row. You can set the color to anything you want. You can now easily change the table name format e.g. from table then a number to just the number. Change the default format in preferences and then click update when prompted. You can do a similar thing for rows of seats as well. In the advanced and professional editions you can now include custom field values in the default display name. For example, here we have a guest whose organization is Acme Limited and we want to include the organization in their default display name. It now gives us the option to update all 96 guests to the new default display name. So let's do that. Now we can see their display name includes Acme Limited in brackets. Perfect Table Plan Professional Edition now has the ability to do merge imports. Let's illustrate that with a simple example. So here we have a guest list with 50 guests. Let's import it. So the first row is a header. We have title. First name, last name, meal, special requirements, and group name. Let's go ahead and do the import. And we'll save the mapping so that we don't have to do it again. So let's imagine we've had some changes to our guest list. And we'll just make them manually here for the example. So we'll remove one guest. And add a new guest at the end. And we'll 
also make some changes to the existing guests. So we'll add a nut allergy under special requirements. And we'll change a meal choice. And then we'll save this spreadsheet with the changes. And then we'll import it again. So we'll use the mapping we previously saved and click Next. Now we can see we have a choice of things to do with guests. So newly imported guests who weren't the original guest list, we can either import them or don't import them. For guests that were in the original guest list and we're re-importing, we can merge, we can import them as duplicates or we can not import them. And for guests that are in the original list that aren't being re-imported, we can either keep them or delete them. So let's do a merge import. And here we can see we have 49 guests who are being re-imported, one new guest and one old guest who's not being re-imported. So this old guest is in blue, Sarah Burke, who we deleted from the spreadsheet. And also we can see the new guest, John Smith, in the pinky red color. I can also see these changes in the dark purple. For example, I added this nut allergy and I changed this guest meal from fish to beef. So I can just hover over it to see the changes. If I want to delete this guest that I deleted from the spreadsheet, I can just change this from keep to delete. You'll notice the font has now got a strike through to show that they'll be deleted. And if I decided I didn't want to import this guest that was newly created, I could set that to don't import and they've gone to strike through as well. Once I'm happy, I just click OK. And that's my merge import done. This means you can easily accommodate changes made to the original guest list, whether it's made through a CRM system, event registration system, or just new spreadsheets being sent to you by clients. For this example, we didn't import an ID field. If you import a column with a unique ID, then guests are matched using their ID. Otherwise, they're matched by first name and last name. ID is preferable because it allows you to do a merge import with changing first names and last names. This is just a quick overview of more than 40 improvements added in Perfect Table Plan version 7.0.0. Download a free trial from the download page on our website to try it yourself. Upgrading from an earlier version is 60% cheaper than buying a new license. If you upgrade now, you'll get any future version 7 improvements for free. If you have any questions about upgrading, please email us at sales at perfecttableplan.com.